All right, it's early September. Taxes should be the farthest thing from your mind, right? No, you actually have a tax planning to-do list. I'll tell you what's on it. That more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. There is a difference between tax preparation, getting your taxes done, and tax planning, the creative side. Tax preparation is required, and there's a season that everyone dreads, right? You've got to get your taxes done. Typically, it opens end of January. Deadline is April 15, unless you extend. It's reactive. It's, it's reactive, it's, it's not creative, and it's not capturing opportunities. If you had income last year, the previous year, or this year, or whatever, if you had income, you have to report this compliance document to the IRS, basically saying, here's the money I made, here's the taxes that are due, see, I paid these taxes, and you owe me a refund, or I paid most of them, here's a little bit more. And, and that's compliance, okay? There's no create, creativity to it, to get the right number in the right box. Tax planning, however, is one of the six areas of your financial life. Tax preparation isn't. Tax planning is. And planning, what's meant by that? That's proactive. That's looking at what could you do, what are the opportunities for you to pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime, if not multiple lifetimes. And then the other goal of tax planning is to avoid surprises. No one likes surprises. And so you wanna make sure that being proactive, you're able to spot things before they happen and, and yeah, capture opportunities, avoid surprises. So that's the difference. So here we are, it's, it's early September and it is busy. It is busy here at Corhorn Financial Group. That's, it's wonderful, right? But it's busy. This is our second busy time and we're doing a lot of tax work. Why? Why? Because typically meet with clients a couple times a year during tax season is one and we're doing tax delivery as well as tax planning as well as present financial position, investment plan, and all that. But then typically we meet six months later to review investments again, talk through the retirement strategy, their long-term goals, hit insurance or, or estate planning, and, and, and then also do tax planning, right? The proactive work. What does it look like this year? How are the tax, what's the, the your tax picture looking like? Are there opportunities, okay? So on your tax planning to-do list, Right now, there should be a few items. One, if you pay your taxes via tax estimates, the third quarter estimate is due September 15. If you did a Roth conversion or you captured some capital gains or you had an event during this, for, in, during this third quarter that all of a sudden causes your taxes to spike, you may want to look at doing a estimated tax payment, even if you don't do so on a quarterly basis and you've got until September 15 to do it. Second, if you run a small business, own a small business, your tax filing deadline for that business was March 15. But if you extended it, most of them do because you gotta get a lot together. You're, you're busy running your business, but you also need to update your QuickBooks and, and everything else. Oftentimes, very difficult for small business owners to get their taxes done by that March 15 deadline. You do a, an extension, six month automatic extension, gives you until September 15 to file your business tax return. So. For those of you that are in that camp and haven't filed yet, you filed an extension, you got a few weeks now. It's crunch time. Get your business tax return done. For you guys personally then, likely if you own the business, that business return isn't done until your return's not done. And oftentimes this means get your business return done, then get your personal done right after that. You've got until October 15 to get the personal done. Next. We're rounding the corner on the year. We're almost into the fourth quarter, and that means time to begin planning for that required minimum distribution if you haven't done so yet. If you have an inherited IRA from someone that's not your spouse and they passed away before 1-1 of 2020, then you can continue to stretch out the IRA and take a required minimum distribution instead. If you need that money early in the year or wanna make sure you, you don't forget, then, then go ahead and take it early in the year but it oftentimes is beneficial to delay it, wait until later in the year to take your RMD, so you give even more time for that money to grow. So here we are, it's time to have that on your radar screen, get a plan to withdraw your required minimum distribution, maybe do a qualified charitable donation out of it before you take the rest of it, maybe figure out your tax withholdings and withhold a lot from your RMD, but now the clock is ticking, you've got until 1231 to do that. 
And then finally, like I said, the biggest tax planning work that should be on your tax to-do list right now is to work with your CFP, build out that multi-year tax projection, and identify the strategies that make sense for you, for your unique financial situation, to pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime. Whether that's a Roth conversion, whether that's shifting contributions for the final part of the year from pre-tax to Roth or Roth to pre-tax, whether that's capture any tax losses or capital gains, whether it's funding a backdoor Roth, those sorts of things, or maximizing your HSA. What are the opportunities that exist for you to pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime? And then once you have that list, looking at all six areas of your financial life or the other five to see which of these ideas make sense for you and which of them are just good ideas, but not ones that you should implement right now. That's that multi-year tax projection that your CFP should be building for you and working through with you right now this time of year. Biggest question beyond just what's on your tax to-do list, are you doing tax planning? Are you doing the proactive work to capture opportunities, to identify and capture opportunities to pay the least amount of tax over your lifetime. If so, fantastic. It can save you thousands of dollars over your career. And better yet, it means you have more dollars growing for, for you, building wealth for you in a tax efficient way. And that allows you to compound even more interest, make your retirement plan work even better, your cash flow plan work better, your estate plan work better, provides all sorts of benefits. So work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.